All right, dual bowling fans. Last week we discussed urethane bowling balls. This week we're going to talk about short pin to pap layouts on reactive bowling balls and when they might be useful. So first and foremost, when we talk about short pin layouts or you hear that terminology, short pins, we are not talking about pin to the CG mark on an undrilled bowling ball. That's not a short pin. We're talking about pin to positive axis point distance. For me, my positive axis point is roughly three and five eighths by five eighths up. That puts my PAP on this ball roughly here. So from the pin to my positive axis point, this bowling ball is a little over two inches. Similar on this bowling ball, you'll notice three and a half by five eighths. My positive axis point right here is very close to the pin, less than one inch away. So what can I expect from these two, two bowling balls, two reactive bowling balls? One, as we move our pin closer to our positive axis point, we are effectively reducing the amount of flare potential the bowling ball has off the end of the pattern. What is flare potential? That is the, the, how the ball is actually grabbing the lane as it's hooking through the hook part of it, its hook phase. Um, you can visualize that by the oil track lines on the ball. If there is a lot of space between the oil track lines, that ball is flaring a lot. That means the ball is grabbing the lane and rotating as it's hooking. It's going to cause overall more motion in the hook phase. The tighter those oil lines are, so the more stacked on top of each other they are, the less flare it has, the less rotation the ball is having while it's hooking down the lane. What does less uh, lower amount of flare mean to you as far as ball motion? That means more control, less overall hook right to left or left to right. So when can that be useful? Much like urethane, lower amounts of flare on reactive bowling balls with shorter pin layouts means you can stay further up the lane or it means you don't have to worry about that ball overreacting off the end of the pattern down lane. So shorter oil patterns or later in, later in a qualifying or lead block where the oil is kind of drying out or flatter oil patterns where you really need to control that back part of the lane. Very similar cases that we talked about for urethane where urethane because of the, the urethane cover stock as well as the surface finish we put on urethane bowling balls typically very low 500 or less, right? This, these balls are going to hit the lane surface and react, kind of transition from skid to hook very quickly. Whereas reactive bowling balls with that shorter pin layout, they're going to get through the front part of the lane a little bit longer. Of course, depending on the surface type, whether you have a lot of surface in you know, grit versus solid or pearl. But ultimately, what you're doing is you're, is you're minimizing that, that, that flare potential, that, that amount of hook in that hook phase, right to left or left to right by choosing a short pin layout. My recommendation is that we have short pin reactive layouts in conjunction with urethane bowling balls uh, when you're a tournament bowler looking, at, looking to improve the, your, your overall arsenal and your choices. Um, urethane isn't always the best choice. Short pins can give you a better re get a re reaction front to back while not losing as much energy as urethane does. So it really depends on the motion that you want of the bowling ball down lane and the oil pattern that you're bowling on. I would definitely say that shorter pin layouts on reactive may work for some on house shots, especially house shots with very high, high ratios, 10 to 1, 12 to 1, even more than that, right? This will control that right to left or left to right reaction down lane uh, without forcing you to be way deep inside. But all of them have their place in your bag. It just depends on what you need. So visit your local pro shop, have more discussions about what layouts might benefit you. Come by and see me if you're in the North Carolina area at Sling and Wood Pro Shop in Asheville at Sky Lanes. I'll be more than happy to discuss potential layouts, short pin and otherwise to help benefit your game.